Welcome back to 7 News Now Sunday morning. Don't throw out that sunblock you used this summer just yet. Dr. Joe Cohen with the Bow Skin Dermatology is here to remind us why we still need it and fill us in on some changes that we might see with sunscreen in the future. Thank you for being here. Always great to see you. My pleasure. Hey, it's always a good reminder as you get into the ski and snowboarding season that you still need to apply the sunblock. You know, as we start packing our gear for the season, we really need to think about broad spectrum sunscreen and finding something that's pocket sized that'll be easy to use. We know that we should get physicals once a year. Would you recommend everyone checking their skin and at least going in to see their dermatologist once a year as well? You know, folks out there should really do a self exam every month looking for something that's new or changing or bleeding or scabbing. But going into your physician once a year for a head to toe skin check could actually be life saving. So, real quickly, what should people be on the lookout for? I mean, you should know your skin, you should know your body. If you have a mole that's becoming larger or changing, it may be bleeding, uh, really the ABCD criteria, if it's asymmetric, the borders are regular, the color has variation, or it's, it's larger than the size of a pencil eraser, then that's something that generally should be checked. And also just recently, Congress passed a few new rules that will affect what we see and how we use sunscreen. Can you fill us in on that? That's right. For Many years, Europe and Asia have had many sunscreen ingredients that we just don't have, uh -huh. and it's been about a decade since any of these ingredients were passed in the states. So the Senate just passed a bill that actually calls for new ingredients to be improved within basically about a year and a half. And this will obviously come in handy in the future, and they'll be added to our sunscreen that we purchase, right? Correct, making sunscreens more broad spectrum and more effective across that whole board of not just the SPF, but UVA as well, which are the longer rays that cause sun damage changes, lines and wrinkles, and are also associated with skin cancer. Real quickly, I know a lot of the women out there, for me especially, usually your makeup comes with sunscreen or some kind of SPF and along with uh, other lotions I put on. I'll Besides your face, what other areas should we be on the lookout for that we forget? You know, a lot of people forget using a lip balm to their lips, especially during ski and boarding season, mm -hmm. and their ears as well if they're not wearing a helmet. So just make sure to cover those areas because skin cancer in those areas, especially squamous cell carcinoma, can be much more aggressive. All right, keep that in mind. Thank you so much, Dr. My Cohen. Uh, to learn more about skin care, and if you have questions for Dr. Cohen, you can check out aboutskinderm.com.